Hello everyone, today I'm going to explain you the two-dimensional array in C programming language. You have studied one-dimensional array already. For example, I want to create the array that has a tab in integer in one-dimensional array. I can create like this by the clear in A, for example, phi. It is a one-dimensional array. You can use data tab integer, float, or char. It's up to you. So here I want to use integer. Integer A, 5 is one-dimensional array because you see here it has only one index. So if you want to create two-dimensional array, you have to have two index here. You can add one more index here. It's, for example, here is 7. You see the two-dimensional array has two index. The first index and second index. The first index is rep represent row and the second dig is represent column let me explain you you see here is one dimensional array in one dimensional array it has only one index if you want to add more element you just increment the size here you just increment the size for the point five you increment to the event so it will create one or two more two more element here that is called one dimensional array let's see the two dimensional array for example you have matrix a matrix a is equal to three seven eight two zero nine twenty five twenty two one twelve nine one you can store the matrix the value of the matrix a in two dimensional array like this in um a represent matrix a um a four three because it have four row one two three four and it has three columns one two three that's why we declaration the two dimensional array with the side row is 4 and the side of column is 3 and we can set assign the value by 3 7 h like this 3 7 h and comma 209 like this or you can assign the value one by one one by one is like this both of this one and this one are the same so if you want to use this one you can see it's um a zero zero equal to three um zero one equal to seven um a zero two equal to h until um a three two equal to one Let's see here. When you do like this, or you do like this, it it will look like this. So the first index is roll. The first index is row. A row is start from zero to three. Second index is column. Column is start from zero to two. So when you assign the value like this. Um, zero, zero equal to three. Um, zero, zero equal to three. You see, zero, zero equal to three. So, so zero here, so it's equal to three. And then, um, a zero one equal to zero. Um, a zero one equal to zero. Zero one. It's my here is equal to zero. Um a zero two equal to h. Um a zero two equal to x. Zero um a zero two equal to h. A here. 
âm vôn zero âm vôn zero equal to two âm vôn zero here equal to two until âm a three two equal to one âm a three two âm a three two is three and two equal to one so is one let's go to the code how can I create a matrix A like this? So I can write here is matrix A. I use um A. The row is four and the index is three. And I can assign value like this. It has four row. It has four row. So inside the sphere bracket you have four sphere bracket one two three and four and this one it has three columns so inside the sub sphere bracket you have three value you have three value the first one is three seven eight three seven eight and second is two zero nine two zero nine third is twenty five twenty two one twenty five twenty two one and the last one is twelve nine one twelve nine one now i create array um a represent my matrix a represent matrix a that they had a data in integer and it has for roll and three column and it has value the value is the value of the matrix so i use the array um, a to store the value of the matrix and then i want to display the value of matrix um, a so how can i do it here you see we have four rows, three, and eight. Four row, one, two, three, four, and see the one, two, three. So we use loop to display the value like this. We will use nested loop. The parent loop represent role. The child loop represent the column so the parent row the first start zero and inside the zero it has zero one two and then one one inside one it has zero one two and then two inside two it has zero one two and three inside three it has zero one two so I have to create nested loop I use loop for in I use letter or represent role or equal to zero and then or smaller than or equal to three by three because you see four four so it has four roll so start from zero to three it four zero one two three it four divide four divide here is three it's not four because if you write four it means five not four because from zero to four is five so you have to write three and then or plus plus here is the parent loop represent role and the child loop represent the column 
the child loop i can use for again and in column represent column i write c c equal to zero c smaller than or equal to two c plus plus zero from zero to two it has three right is three so i have nested loop that first loop or parent loop represent the role and the child loop represent the column i can print the value of this matrix print i can use space and person take d because this array is integer use person take d and then m um a m um a or it represent role so or and c represent the column c here and then i print here i print baseline this line is enter why is enter because every you see in the code every row is enter 3 7 8 enter 2 0 9 enter 25 22 1 enter why i print baseline here because when it meets this print it enter so let's run it you see here is 3, 7, 8, 2, 0, 9, 25, 22, 1, 12, 9, 1. It's, it, it look like this. 3, 7, 8, 2, 0, 9, 25, 22, 1, 12, 9, 1. I can write print F. the matrix A like this then run it you see the matrix A is 3, 7, 8, 2, 0, 9, 25, 22, 1, 12, 9, 1 why it print like this because the first one is all is start from 0 so when all zero it is the loop the loop is start from zero to two so all those zero 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 one zero two and then all increment one it one so it is um a one one zero one 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 two and then it increment to two two 0 to 1 to 2 and increment to 3 3 0 3 1 3 2 that's why it print like this